Here's how you install a Bulgen connector for the RoboBot Convention. First thing you want to do is disassemble the connector so you get access to all the pieces. Right. Next, we're going to be looking at a set of tools we have. We have the Bulgen screwing connectors, a flat edge screwdriver, a wrench, and a little bit of oil. And we're going to see in one second why we should do that. Uh, so first thing we're going to want to do is actually put in reverse order basically all of the pieces we're going to need for the connector. Uh, so we're going to put the uh, the screwing bolt, we're going to put in the gland and the compressor piece. We're going to pass the enclosure through and then we're going to go screw the connectors inside of the terminal. Uh, so we've got three terminal and if you look you actually see that they're actually not all at the same height. The one that is lower is the ground connector, and that's usually the easiest one to put in. Uh, so we're going to put the ground connector in place. And we're going to screw it on. All right. Next thing we're going to be doing is putting the load connector in. Uh, at RoboBoat, we've been using the convention that load is white. You may be used to different connection in different context, uh, but don't start changing the convention on the connector because you're going to end up having a connector terminated one way at one end of the cable, another one at the other end of the cable, and that will cause a beautiful short. Uh, and that's usually not the thing you want to have. So we're going to keep using white being load for RoboBoat for now. Um, and then we're going to put the third connector in. Sometimes it's good to actually twist them and give it a 90 degree angle so it wanna fits in really nicely in there. Maybe unscrew the terminal a bit more. Hey, there we go. Okay. And then if you turn around, you're going to see that there's actually a key on one side. So when you put it inside of the enclosure, what you're going to want to do is actually rotate it until it basically clicks in place with the other part. So once you get that, we're going to put the ring back on and we're going to screw it in place. Uh, da, da, da. That's a little tricky to get in. So, there you go. So sometimes moving the uh, the rubber returning piece is a little bit difficult and that's where some oil is actually quite helpful. So you can put some around and then you're gonna see that woo, it's actually moving really nicely. So you wanna push it basically all the way back in place. As far down as you can get it in. And then we're gonna take the screwing bolt, put it in place. Once it's there and you cannot screw it by end anymore, you're going to want to do about one, one and a half more turn with a wrench. And you have a fully assembled connector.